up into a house that's made of magic balloons Where we all play games and whistle happy tunes This is Bobby's house, it's a special wonderland His hands create the magic, your wish is his command Papers. Sometimes Moosty asks a lot of questions. He is a curious kitten and wants answers to his questions. So he decides to go see Daddy, who is working in the garden. Tell me, Daddy, why is the grass green, and the sky blue, and the clouds gray, and the earth brown? Well, says Daddy, who has to think for a moment. 
It's because it's always been this way and always will be. However, when you're drawing, you get to be the one that decides the color of everything. I see, says Musti, who instantly begins to imagine images of a bright red sky and beautiful blue grass in his head. He then goes to get his drawing supplies. First paper, then crayons, a tube of glue, an eraser, and a pencil. Musti is now ready to work. He's got all the essentials, and he is a rather good painter. On his sheet of paper, he begins by drawing a nice big tree, which he colors, then colors in. For the trunk, he chooses yellow. He makes the leaves a nice shade of blue and chooses red for the grass around the bottom of the tree. Here's the finished drawing. Musti takes another sheet of paper and draws the sun. The sun is green. And surrounded by purple clouds. Musti looks at his painting proudly. He's very pleased because everything now seems different. Musti finds this amusing and starts another drawing. And hang on, it's an image of Mr. Rabbit. A little touch of color and Mr. Rabbit is all in blue. Since he's drawn Mr. Rabbit, Musti now has to draw Mrs. Turtle. Drawing her should be a lot of fun, especially drawing her shell. Musti examines all of his drawings. He likes the pictures, but he's not sure about the colors. He is getting ready to put them away when he hears a noise behind him. He looks. And he sees Mr. Rabbit and Mrs. Turtle. Mr. Rabbit instantly hops to Moosty's side and what he sees does not please him at all. I'm sorry, Moosty, he says disapprovingly. But what's this? Do I look blue to you? Of course not, answers Moosty. And I think I ought to sort this out. Wait for me here. I'll be right back. In no time, the drawing of blue Mr. Rabbit disappears into the trash can. Meanwhile, Mrs. Turtle is still looking around. She has found her own portrait with the other drawings. But unlike Mr. Rabbit, she has no objection to seeing herself so brightly colored. As long as it's just a drawing. It was time to make food for the animals at the family farm. Roy was busy preparing his tools so that he would be ready to push the food into the pit. <laughs> what are you doing, Roy? asked Tech. Just making sure that Rebecca the rake's teeth are tight enough, said Roy. 
Ouch! squeaked Rebecca. Thank goodness I don't have any teeth, thought Tank as he drove over to the house. Katie and Molly were about to leave. Where are you going, Katie? To the dentist, said Katie happily. Aren't you afraid? Of course I'm not, said Katie. All I have to do is keep my mouth open. Hey, Katie, don't swallow me up, <laughs> laughed Tech. Let's go, Katie, called Molly. Bye, Tech. Goodbye. Beep, beep. Tech tooted his horn. Katie and Molly drove off down the lane. Teeth were funny things, thought Tech. He decided to go and find Henry the horse to see what kind of teeth he had. Hello, Henry. Are you there? Tech tooted his horn. <coughs> groaned Henry. Hopping horseshoes. What is the matter? Are you all right, Henry? Asked Tech. No, indeed. No, I'm not all right at all. I have a pain in my mouth and it aches and hurts all over. Oh, oh. Excuse me, Tech. Ouch. Poor Henry. He was very uncomfortable. I hope you'll feel better soon, Henry, said Tech. Katie was waiting for her turn in the dentist's waiting room. Before long, it was her turn to see the dentist. Katie, next please. Come this way. Katie and Molly got up and headed towards the dentist's room. Roy and Rebecca the rake were busy piling animal food into the pit. The big blue tractor would never have been able to do that without Rebecca's help. He was lucky that Rebecca had such big strong teeth that could grip and lift the food up high. I'd like a friend with big, strong teeth like that, said Tech. So off he went to look for a rake like Rebecca. <laughs> On his way, Tech ran into Nell. Do you have teeth, Nell? He asked. Oof! Teeth? Of course I've got teeth. I'd starve without them. I wouldn't be able to gnaw at a bone or chew meat without teeth, said Nell. Arr, and don't you dare take my bone. Arr, it's mine, remember? Growled Nell. I was only asking, said Tech, and off he went in a hurry. At the dentist's office, Katie was lying on the comfortable chair. Open your mouth wide, please, Katie. The dentist began to examine each tooth carefully. Right, you're all finished, said the dentist as Katie sat up in the chair. Excellent, your teeth are strong and healthy, but you must remember to clean them every morning and night. I will, promised Katie. I'll see you again in six months. Goodbye, said Katie and Molly. Are you feeling better, Henry? asked Tech. <coughs> no, 
No, I am not feeling better at all. I still have this terrible pain in my mouth. Can I do anything to help you? asked Tech. Ouch! 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 I'd be very grateful. Ouch! Could you tell Roy? said Henry. I'll do that right away. With that, Tech went to find Roy. But Roy was still busy with the animal food, and it was too dangerous for Tech to go near him. Rebecca the rake's teeth flashed a warning to everyone. Keep away. I know. I'll tell Molly and Katie, said Tech. And off he went to the house. But as he was rolling across the field, he got distracted by the ducks and geese. Do you ever get pain in your mouth? asked Tech. Because Henry the horse has had a terrible pain in his jaw since early this morning. Quack, suffering snail shells. You don't say, Tech. Quack, perhaps he broke a tooth while biting on a stone or something, suggested Daniel the duck. What do you know about teeth? We don't have any, not a single one. Bah, bah. Holy mackerel, you don't have any teeth, Daniel? Asked Tech, astonished. None of us have teeth. That's why we have to swallow everything. Bah. But we can still bite, remember? Hissed Gertie the goose. Well, you learn something new and interesting every day, said Tech calmly. Jenny, do you have any teeth? What? Teeth? Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Giggled Jenny. No, indeed. We have beaks, cackled Nancy. And because we don't have teeth, we never have toothaches, clucked Jenny happily. What's a toothache? asked Tech. When something is wrong with your tooth. Bark. Yes, something goes wrong and you get a terrible pain in your mouth. Bark. Sometimes people get toothaches, cackled Nancy. Aha! Uh -huh. That must be what's wrong with Henry, said Tech. And he hurried off, hoping Katie and Molly had returned by now. But before he reached the house, he ran into Roy and Rebecca the rake. Rebecca was looking very upset. One of her teeth had broken. What happened to your tooth, Rebecca? asked Tech. Ouch! Oh! She said. I bit into something very hard and it broke. Woohoo! Oh, poor you. I am sorry. It's nothing to worry about. We'll take out the broken tooth and replace it with a new one in no time at all, said Roy. Oh, no, moaned Rebecca the rake. Roy took the broken tooth out and put the new one in carefully. And then Tech remembered about Henry. Oh, Roy, I almost forgot to tell you. Henry has a tooth, a teeth, a tooth. Teeth? asked Roy. No, a terrible pain in his mouth. Henry's got a toothache? asked Roy, surprised. Yes, that's it. So they both went over to see him at once. Poor Henry, what's the matter? asked Roy. Oh, oh, my mouth, it hurts a lot, groaned Henry. Poor you, said Tech. 
Never mind, said Roy. I'll call the vet and he'll come to look at your teeth. He won't be long. Oh, oh, thank you, Roy. As Roy went to the house, Katie and Molly returned home. It's a pity that Henry couldn't have gone with you to the dentist, said Tech. Why? What's wrong with Henry? asked Katie. He's got teeth, uh, a toothache, and he's in terrible pain. Poor Henry, said Molly. I was just about to phone the vet when you arrived, said Roy. <laughs> Now, Henry, can you open your mouth wide, said the vet. But Henry wasn't as ready to open his mouth as Katie had been. Oh, 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 he moaned. What great big teeth you've got, Henry, said Tech. He had never seen such huge teeth in all his life. They were yellow and square, but then Henry didn't have a toothbrush and toothpaste to clean his teeth. The vet said, The tooth isn't rotten. The problem is in his gum. But this medicine should cure that. They both went to the vet's car, and the vet gave Roy some medicine, which would make Henry better. Goodbye, said the vet. Thank you very much, said Roy. As Tech drove towards the house, Molly came to meet him with a rake in her hand. Look at this, said Molly. This rake has lost three of its teeth. Sometimes, thought Tech, it was very nice to be a little tractor with no teeth at all.
scuba dots. Imagine how much more fun it would be if musical notes could jump right off the music sheet and straight into your living room. So we've created The Notekins, a new music series for you and your toddler to enjoy. Because we at Baby First TV believe that it's never too early to learn about music and have fun with it. We're on our way to visit drum. These seven little creatures, each standing in for a musical note, Invite you and your child to join them on their musical-packed adventures as they meet new musical instrument friends whose names and special sounds are introduced to your baby. It's our friend violin! Now let's play fast music! Music is such an important part of our lives, and with the Notebooks, you and your baby will be able to share the love of music. So tune in, because we've got a lot of tunes in store for you. The Note Gins, every day at 8.30 a.m., 12.30 a.m., and 7.30 p.m., only on Baby First TV. Everything around here may seem a perfect match, but look a little closer, you'll find that there's a catch. When one thing just stands out, and three things look the same We have to point it out And call it by its name What's different? What's different? I found it! What's different? We're going to look at four pictures Three will be the same But one will be different Let's look. It's a pink and purple butterfly. A pink and purple butterfly. What's next? Another pink and purple butterfly. That's a pink and purple butterfly too. One more. Let's see it. That's a butterfly too. Is it pink and purple? We have four butterflies, but they are not all the same. Can you spot what's different? Is this butterfly different? No. This one's pink and purple, like most of the others. How about this one? This one is pink and purple too. 
This one matches the other pink and purple butterflies. So what's different? This one is different. This one is orange and yellow. These are pink and purple butterflies. The orange and yellow butterfly is different. Good eye. You can spot what's different. Bye-bye.
The listening game? Mm-hmm. I do, I do. My magic paintbrush is ready, too. Okay, then. Let's play. <coughs> Did you hear that sound? Let's listen to it again. What could it be, Bonnie? Is it a cow? That's right, Bonnie! A cow! <laughs> okay, now I'm going to play another sound for you. Ooh, did you hear that? Let's listen to it again. What could it be? I've heard it before. That's a sheep! That's right, Bonnie! A sheep! <laughs> okay, now I'm going to play another sound. Get ready! Did you hear that sound? Let's listen to it again. So, what could it be? I think I know. It's a dog. A dog, that's right. <laughs> Bonnie, let's listen to the sounds again. 
cow. A sheep. A dog. So, Bonnie, can you guess where you can hear those sounds? I can, I can. Whee! Those are sounds from a dairy farm. That's right, Bonnie. A dairy farm. <laughs> Whee! Whee! <laughs> What's the best gift a parent can give their child? Start. And Baby First TV makes it easy to do. Job, buddy. With thousands of episodes of original programming, our shows cover every stage of a child's development. The color coded flower in the corner of the screen lets parents choose from a rainbow of education and shows which skills are being highlighted. Thinking Journey is yellow. Language Playground is red. I'm gonna tell you a story about me. Imagination Lane is pink. Feelings Garden is orange. Okie dokie. Numbers Parade is blue. Sensory Wonderland is green. So tune in to Baby First TV. It's the perfect tool to inspire young minds to grow and learn more about the world than they ever knew before. Baby First TV, 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. My favorite shape Red is for strawberries And big reindeer noses Yellow for sunshine And even some roses I love all colors I think they're the best So come join us all In our big color fest Petey the Paintbrush Hi, I'm Petey the Paintbrush I love to paint Using all different colors like red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and purple. What's your favorite color, PD? A favorite? I don't have just one favorite color. I love them all. I choose colors by what I feel like painting that day. What do you want to paint today? Hmm, today I feel like painting... A parakeet! What color should I use to paint a pretty parakeet? Today, I'm going to paint with blue, and I'm going to start by painting a parakeet. <laughs> that blue parakeet sure can fly. Hmm, what else can I paint with blue? I know! A blanket! A cozy, warm, blue blanket. I can use blue to paint blue jeans, too. Watch this. I like to wear blue jeans when I play outside. You know what else you can paint with the color blue? 
a bicycle to ride around on. Look at the blue bicycle go! Today, I painted with blue. I made a... a flying blue parakeet. A cozy blue blanket. A nice pair of blue jeans. And a blue fun time bicycle! I bet you can find something blue to paint today too. I love color, oh yes I do. I love them all. Do you love colors too? Bye bye! <laughs>
to help you, Peep. Let's see. There are five cats resting on the grass. There's Kathy, Ginger, Pretty, Spot, and me, Lydia. That's one, two, three, four, five cats. <laughs> I'd like to try counting to five now. One, Two, three, four, five. One cat, two cats, three cats, four cats, five cats. I did it. I counted five cats. Right, Lydia? Mm, yeah. <sighs> yes, sure did, Peep. You counted five. One, two, three, four, five. There are five cats resting on the grass. Good job. <laughs> Can you try and count five cats with me? Let's try. One, two, three, four, five. One cat, two cats, three cats, four cats, five cats. You did it. Thank you very much, Lydia. Have a good cat nap. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five cats. I got it. Come on. Do you see my friends, the butterflies over there? Let's say hi. Hi, Peep. Hi, everybody. It's nice to see you. <laughs> It's nice to see you too, Peep. What brings you out here to a beautiful flower field? I'm counting animals today. Would you like to help, Nikki? Can you tell me how many of you butterflies are flying around the field? I'd love to help, Peep. But I'm Vicky. That's Nikki. <laughs> <laughs> there are five butterflies flying around the field. There's Vicky. Nikki, Tricky, Ricky, and Mickey. Together, that's five. One, two, three, four, five butterflies. Five butterflies. I'm going to try and count to five now. Five butterflies. That's one, two, 
three, four, five. One butterfly, two butterflies, three butterflies, four butterflies, five butterflies. Did I count right, Vicky? You sure did, Peep. But I'm Mickey. That's Vicky. <laughs> <laughs> You counted to five perfectly. One, two, three, four, five. Good job. There are five butterflies flying around the field. <laughs> now let's count five butterflies together. One, two, three, four, five. One butterfly, two butterflies, three butterflies, four butterflies, five butterflies. You got it. Great job. Thank you, Mickey. Bye, everybody. See you later. Bye, Peep. But I'm Ricky, not Mickey. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five butterflies. I got it. Let's go home now. Hi, Peep. How was your day, dear? So much fun. I counted animals today, Mommy. First, I counted five cats. One cat, two cats, three cats, four cats, five cats. And then, I counted five butterflies. One butterfly, two butterflies, three butterflies, four butterflies, five butterflies. Mommy, I had so much fun counting to five. My, my, what a busy day you had. Now, Peep, can you tell me how many Peeps Mommy loves? Mm. One. There's only one peep Mommy loves, and that's me. That's right. Mommy loves one peep. One and only one. You.
Why, yes, Tilly. I've come over to play. Can I come in? That is definitely a duck. I would know. Hi, Tilly. It's nice to see you. I knew that had to be you, Daphne. A big quack from Cousin Daphne the Duck. We ducks sure do love to quack. Don't we, Tilly? Yes, we do. We quack each other up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you came over to play with me. Come by again. You never know who we'll visit next time. Quack, quack, quack. Bye bye.
It's a spoon. You stir your soup with a spoon. You eat ice cream with a spoon. Yummy! There are small spoons and large spoons. We knew about spoons before, but now we know lots more. Sun, hello moon, hello everybody. Look, all the different pieces have all left the board. Let's see if you can put them back in their correct places. Can you fit the oak tree in its place? Uh-uh, try again. You'll get it right. Well done. You've got it right. <laughs> now let's see if you can fit the pine tree back on the board. You did it again. You put the pine tree back on the board. But... Can you fit the shape of the green leaf back in its place? Uh-uh. Let's try again. You can do it. You did it! You put the green leaf back on the board. Now, one last shape is left. What about the flower? I bet you could find its place as well. Well done! Look at the board. You've managed to put all the different shapes back in their correct places. Congratulations! An oak tree, a pine tree, a green leaf, and a flower. All the shapes are back in their correct places on the board. Goodbye, sun. Goodbye, moon. Goodbye, everybody. See you next time. <laughs>
Hans. Let's count frogs. One frog, two frogs, three frogs, four frogs, five frogs, six frogs, seven frogs. Let's count again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven frogs. That's great counting, everyone. See you soon on Number Time. Tick-tock house. We, we do. do. It's Tog. Hello. And Tizzy. Tog and Tizzy. And me, me, me. And Toot. Hello. <laughs> Tog, Toot, and Tizzy Mouse. The three little mice in the Tick-tock house. All coming out to play. playing today? It's a walking game. Walking? That's easy. One, two, three, four. But that's not much of a game, Tog. I like it. One, two, three. But there's more than just walking, Toot. That's good. Yes, we all walk around and then one of us says a word, like, um, snow. Snow? Yes, yeah, snow. And we have to pretend we're walking in it. On the snow. Ooh, that's great. Slippery and slidey. <laughs> slidey. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. And sometimes we have to lift our legs up high like this. Oh. <laughs> Look at me. Oh. Yeah, yeah. And sometimes we have to do this. Why? Why? To make a snowman, of course. Oh, oh, yeah! yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, let's keep on walking. And now Tizzy can say a word. Okay, okay. Everybody keep walking. Oh, one, one, two, two three, three, four. four. One, two. My word is leaves. Leaves, oh, that's good. But how do you walk through leaves? Like this. Uh, uh, see? I'm kicking the leaves. <laughs> let's all do it. Great! Now it's your turn, Toot. Yes! Think of something for us to pretend to be walking on, Toot. Um... It could be anything. Anything you like. Okay. Sticky toffee pudding. 
I like sticky toffee pudding. But... You said anything. Okay, here we go. I'm walking through sticky toffee pudding. Me too. <laughs> oh. And me. <laughs> oh. oh, it's really sticky. And gooey. <laughs> and oops, now I've fallen in it. <laughs> mm. What are you doing? I'm eating it. In that case, now I've fallen over too. <laughs> oh, and me! Yum, yum, yum. The leaf is green, yellow, red, brown. The leaf is gone. What time is it now? Can't you guess? Ooh. Ooh. It's, it's guessing, guessing time! time. <laughs> <laughs> what do we have to guess today, Tizzy? Maybe we have to guess where Tog is, Toot. She must be around here somewhere. No, uh, I think we have to guess what that is over there. Wow! That's a really hard guess, Toot. No, it's not. It's easy. What is it, then? It's a hedgehog, of course. A hedgehog? But it can't be a hedgehog, Toot. It hasn't got a face. That's because he's curled up in a ball, fast asleep. Oh, yeah! That's what hedgehogs look like when they're sleeping. Let's wake him up. How are we going to do that? We can sing him a lullaby. No, Toot. Lullaby sends you to sleep. Not the way I sing him. hush a bye hedgehog on the treetop. Aw, stop, 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 stop. Hmm. Even the lullaby didn't wake him, Toot. Hmm. Maybe it's not a hedgehog at all. Maybe it's some other animal. Like what? Oh, I don't know. A prickly rabbit? <laughs> A prickly rabbit? Todd! <laughs> you were hiding behind the hedgehog. It's not a hedgehog or a prickly rabbit. What <laughs> is it then? It's a pine cone. A pine cone? What kind of animal is that? It's not an animal at all, Toot. It's full of seeds, and soon it'll grow into a huge pine tree. Wow. Better stand back, everyone. It might grow any minute. I don't think so, Tizzy. It takes a long time for that to happen. The seeds need to be planted in soil first, and then the sun shines, and then rain comes down, and then... and then... And then, and then, and then, and then it grows and grows and grows. It grows and grows and grows and grows. One little pine cone fell on the ground. Nobody saw it fall. Up came a shoot and down went a root. And, and the, the rain came down and the sun shone round. And it grew, 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 until it was big and tall. The pine tree grew until it was big and tall. One little acorn fell on the ground, nobody saw it fall. Then up came a shoot and down went a root, and, and the rain came down and the sun shone round. And it grew, 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 until it was big and tall. The oak tree grew, until it was big and tall. One little chestnut fell on the ground, nobody saw it fall. Up came a shoot and down went a root And the rain came down and the sun shone round And it grew, grew, grew Until it was big and tall The chestnut tree grew Until it was big and tall How could something quite so small Grow so big and tall? <laughs> Is it now? Once upon a time, 
It's once upon a time. <laughs> <laughs>
No. Tidy up first. Tidy, Tidy up, up first. first. Everything is put away until another day. That's all for today. Goodbye, Tonk. Bye bye. Goodbye, Tizzy. Bye bye. Goodbye, Toot. Bye bye. See you next time. Bye bye. Danny. Hi, Daddy. What are you drawing? I don't know. You tell me. Sure. What do you see? Huh? Hmm. Go on. I know. It's a super slow snail. Nope. Try again. No. Hmm. Try again, Daddy. Uh -oh. uh. Well? Oh, now I see. I was looking at it the wrong way. It's an upside-down snail. No, Daddy. Wrong again. Really? What do you think? Uh, oh boy, it's a ma. Uh, oh, oh, I got it, I got it, I got it! Tell me, tell me, tell me! It's the one thing I'm scared of a snake! You're right! Really? I can't believe it! I don't know what to say! <laughs> it's a green, scaly snake! I knew it! I knew it! I got it! I got it! I win! I win! Ooh! Super Dad! Super Dad walking! <laughs> oh. Uh. Um. Danny? I love you! Uh huh? <laughs> <laughs> oh! Yeah! Oh! Uh, yeah, yeah! Oh.
come in all shapes, sizes, and colors. And for every family, there are so many ways to have fun together. So why not take all those countless ideas for family fun and join them all? Baby First TV is proud to launch Family Fun Time, a new daily block that celebrates all the fun and bonding that parents and children can have together. Break a family sweat on My Gym at Home, where you and toddler can get fit and have fun. Create exciting crafts with your baby on Baby DIY. Is he funny? Sing and dance with your little ones on Swing and Sing. Let the whole family experience the magic of storytelling on Baby First Tales. So tune in to Family Fun Time and discover a place where there's more than enough family fun to go around for everyone. Family Fun Time every day at 11.30 a.m. and 6.30 p.m. only on Baby First TV. Good evening! I'm Snoozles, and direct from Nap Valley and Shushibai, it's time once again for Shushibai Baby! Every night the sun goes down, the lights go out throughout your town. That's the time to close your eyes, cause soon you'll be in Shushi Bai, I say, Oh my, my, Shushi Bai, I say, Oh my, my, Shushi Bai. Dozy here with the Shushi Bai weather. Tonight calls for a chance of drowsiness, followed by loud snoring. So we recommend you stay indoors and under your blankets. Hey, have you ever heard of the blues? Well, it's music with feeling. Here with the Shushy Bye Blues is Michael and the Shushy Bye Dream Band. <laughs> sleep the other night You know I kind of put up a fight I didn't want to go to sleep so soon So my mommy said to me You know you're gonna miss your dreams And you'll be singing mm, the Shushy Bible Blues Well you know my mommy was right my shushy by dreams at night So from now on This is what I'm gonna do When my mommy says it's time for bed I'm gonna lay down my sleepy head I won't be singing hmm, The shushy by the Thanks, Dozy. As everyone knows, Zs loves to sleep. But one day, Zs actually found it hard to fall asleep. He closed his eyes and tried to fall asleep, but all he could do was stay awake. Whoa! Why can't I fall asleep? Something's kind of strange. Have you tried warm milk or listening to lullabies? <laughs> I sure did, Dozy. But nothing happens. Well, maybe we should ask the wisest Shushi in all of Shushibai, the Shushibai King. 
Zeez thought that was a very good idea. So Zeez, together with Snoozles and Dozy, went to visit the Shushibai King. Hmm. Zeez is having trouble falling to sleep, is he? You got that right, your highness. Hmm. And what has been on your mind these past few days, Zeez? Well, everything's pretty much the way it always is. I make my dreams, I go to Pillow Park for the nightly Shushibai dance, I hang out with my pals, of course. Shushibai school is about to start in a few days. Hmm. And are you excited about starting school? Oh, yeah. And, uh, maybe a little nervous. <laughs> well, there is your trouble, Zs. You are just excited about starting school. Whoa! I think that's it. I'm just excited for school to start. Yes, yes. And now that you have shared your feelings, I'm certain that you'll have no trouble falling asleep. And the Shushi by King was right. Z slept great. In fact, so great, he slept right through the nightly Shushi by dance. <laughs> I'm Kenny, wishing you Shushi by and good night. Time for Shushi by Dickby. Mommy. Yes, my little boy? I don't like it when it's all dark. A dim light is fine, Davy. Let me get a night light for you. I want to call it a shushy by light. A very good idea, Davy. Shushy by and good night, my love. Shushy by and good night, mommy. <laughs> and that's the shushy by baby show for today. Sweeties and dreams. All the shushies and shushy by. Shushi bye and good night. Shushi bye and good night. Shushi bye and good night. As long as anyone could remember, there had always been a school on Jungly Island. But no one could remember the last time the school had been redecorated. The wallpaper was peeling, the paint was cracking, the whole place was a huge mess. This school is such a mess. I don't know how to fix it. All the grown-ups in Jungly Village are too busy to help. Oh dear, now we can't even tell what time it is. Well, I think we've done enough for this week. I'll see you all on Monday. Bye-bye, class. Goodbye, miss. Bye-bye, miss. See you on Monday, miss. Wait a minute. Before you all go home, I've got an idea. If we meet tomorrow and each of us brings some tools and brushes and paint, we could make our school look as good as new. And we could surprise our teacher. What do you think? What a wonderful idea. Count me in. All right. One, two, three. Not like that. You can count me in. All right. One, two, three. Marvin. Sorry. I'll bring some wallpaper, Tyrone. Stripes would be nice. Early Saturday morning, the junglies made their way to school. It was hard work. There's an awful lot to do. Do you think we'll finish in time? Look out. I'm hungry. Already? Over this way. To me, to me. Ouch, that's my foot. I 
I'm almost finished wallpapering up here, Zoe. How's it going down there? I think I've used too much paste, Marvin. I'm in kind of a mess right now. But I'll be all right. I think. Wow, this looks like a new schoolroom. We've done a great job, if I do say so myself. Let's go home for tea. Where's Zoe? I haven't seen her for a while, Tyrone. She must have gone home. I have an idea. Let's get to school early on Monday morning and surprise the teacher. Great idea. Good thinking, Geraldine. I can't wait. Come on, Marvin. And so, bright and early Monday morning, the junglies hurried to school. They wandered around, admiring their work, when suddenly... Get in your seats, everyone. Here she comes. Good morning, class. Surprise, surprise. Surprise. Wow, what a surprise, children. You've done a lovely job, and I want to thank each and every one of you. But where's Zoe? Where's, where's, Zoe? where's Zoe? Zoe? Where's Zoe? If I can just get out... There! I couldn't help it, miss. I was just trying to fix this piece when it rolled down over me. Zoe likes striped wallpaper, miss. Well, I did notice Zoe's attachment to stripes. In fact, she's really stuck on it.
What can I play with? Oh, what about this? What is it? Right there. Where is it? The spoon is in the bowl. Hmm. Hey, let's play the in and out game. Where's the spoon? Out of the bowl. Play with something else. Oh, what's this? A crayon. The coloring. I'll put it right there. Where's the crayon? <laughs> the crayon is in the cup. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I want to see it again. Here it is, out of the cup. And... Out. And... Out. Hmm. <laughs> I think I'll draw a bunny with a spoon. Oh, 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 oh,
around the globe. How many polar bears do I have in my exercise class today? One polar bear, two polar bears, two polar bears. Wonderful! Are you two polar bears ready for our morning workout? Run before your paws turn blue. One, two, one, two. Round the igloo, that's your clue. One, two, one, two. One bear, one lap. Two bears, two laps. Follow me, no time for naps. One, two, one, two. When you run against the breeze, one, two, one, two. Dress warm and you will not freeze. One, two, one, two. Spot two snowballs, pick them up. One, two, one, two. Carry them to our next stop. One, two, one, two. One, two, here we go. One, two, up the hill. One, two, climb up high. One, two, what a thrill! Now you'll race each other down. One, two, one, two. You're the fastest bears in town. One, two, 
One, two. Now push the snowballs, get them all. One, two, one, two. Into the lake until they fall. One, two, one, two. Swim two laps around the lake. One, two, one, two. Swim real fast, don't take a break. One, two, one, two. One, two, two bears. One, two, here we go. Step right out into the snow. One, two, one, two. Now we go back to square one. One, two, one, two. On your feet, let's see you run. One, two, one, two. Everybody, class is done. One, two, one, two. You did great and I had fun. One, two, one, two. trouble.
It's a lovely Sunday morning, and a small car is slowly driving down the peaceful country road. One driver and two passengers are sitting in the car. Musti's daddy drives the car. Musti's mommy is right next to him. And Musti is there too. He's sitting in the back seat, and he's wearing his seatbelt, of course. Musti loves going on Sunday outings with mommy and daddy. But suddenly, there's a loud bang, and the car comes to a grinding halt. Poor Musti is very scared. Everybody gets out of the car to see what's happened, and Musti does too. Dear, oh dear, says Daddy. Come, have a look. We have a flat tire, and to make matters worse, it's beyond repair. Beyond repair? Daddy, do we have to walk home? No, no, Moosty. Daddy reassures him and says, Don't worry, I have a spare tire. Intrigued, Musti watches Daddy as he gets to work. How funny, says Musti. The car looks as if it were floating in the air. Musti and his mommy can only stand and wait. They are amazed by Daddy's skill and speed in replacing the flat tire with a brand new spare wheel. There we go, good as new. And the flat tire is placed in the trunk. All aboard, everybody, calls out Daddy. We're good to go. Now they're on their way home. While in the car, Musti thinks about the burst tire that's in the trunk. He wonders why Daddy would keep it if it really were beyond repair. Back home, Musti and his Daddy go to the garden with the burst tire and a long, thick rope. What are you going to do, Daddy? For the time being, it's a secret, says Daddy. Stay where you are and wait until I call you. A surprise? says Musti. Hooray! I adore surprises. I hope Daddy doesn't make me wait too long. And just as Musti starts heading back in, he hears his Daddy calling. Musti! Come have a look! Musti takes a look. Hanging off a big tree branch is a great swing made out of the burst tire. What a surprise! Musti is jumping for joy because he has his very own swing. He swings happily as Mr. Rabbit and Mrs. Turtle wait their turn.